A New Year's Day Bowl is nothing unfamiliar to the Michigan Wolverines, but January 1, 2008 was a special and historic bowl game for the program for two main reasons. First, it was to be Lloyd Carr's final game roaming the sidelines in maize and blue, and head coach in waiting Rich Rodriguez was ready to take the helm starting the next day. Second, it was also a season-defining game for the Wolverines. After a rough start to the season, which featured two embarrassing home losses to Appalachian State and Oregon, Michigan ended the regular season with two losses, at Wisconsin and at home against the hated Ohio State Buckeyes. But fears that Michigan wouldn't show up for the game or be motivated were quickly dispelled as the Gators and Wolverines got into a bit of a tussle before the game. Let's go to Holly. Well, guys, if you thought this was just another bowl game that didn't mean anything, think again. Watch this pregame activity, guys. They're just out innocently warming up, and then some of the Florida guys get out in the face of the uh, Michigan guys. I think that's Matthews who's doing his little dance there. And then things really started to get heated, guys. Michigan had been pretty sedate, doing their warm-ups, and all of a sudden, they got their, their uh, feathers ruffled a little bit. Motivated and challenged, Michigan brought its A game right from the get-go. somehow hangs on to that ball behind his back. Mario Manningham captain 12-play, 93-yard drive with this catch to make the score 7-0. After a missed field goal, Michigan failed to capitalize on the opportunity to go up two scores. The Gators scored two quick touchdowns following two quick three and outs by the Wolverines to take the 14-7 lead. Michigan's offense seemed to be stalled, and it was deja vu all over again as the defense struggled to stop a mobile Tim Tebow in the early going. But the Michigan offense came alive as Mike Hart plowed in for a touchdown that brought new life into the Wolverine sideline and inspired the defense to begin to put pressure on Tebow. Terrence Taylor did his part as Michigan continued toward his field goal woes with this block. But again, the Wolverines failed to put any distance between themselves and the Gators as the impossible happened. Mike Hart fumbled the ball for the first time in 993 touches. Mike Hart got the ball protected pretty well. But if Michigan fans were getting that same old feeling in their stomach, it quickly passed after the team scored a late touchdown in the second quarter to take the 21 14 halftime lead. Harrington in the slot to the near side. Henry rolls that way under pressure. Throws to the end touchdown. And at the start of the second quarter, the football gods again smiled on those amazing blue as this blue kickoff led to Mike Hart's second touchdown run of the game. After the Gators responded with a touchdown of their own, Hart recorded another second of the game. The second fumble, which led the Gators to crawl out of their two touchdown deficit and knock the game up again. His fumble set this up. Instead of the Michigan touchdown, the Gators march the length of the field and score themselves. Casey Lapata helped Michigan regain the lead with a 37 yard field goal. And after the Michigan defense continued its stellar job on Tim Tebow, who was under constant pressure, Michigan looked for the knockout blow with less than decisive results. Gets his hands on the football, alters the course of the pass, and Pouncey comes up with the interception. And then, just moments later, a little speed and trick ration combined for his first lead of the game. Michigan hasn't covered him down here yet. Chad Henry, Jake Long, and Mike Hart were not about to go 0-4 in bowl games over their career. With little help from Adrian Arrington, the Big Three came back to take the lead on this touchdown pass. Henry looks for the end zone, throws touchdown! And then build on it with a Casey Lovato field. Holding a tenuous six-point lead, the Michigan defense took the field as did Heisman Trophy winner Tim Tebow. It was the perfect scenario for the Gators, the overwhelming favorites in the game, or so everyone thought. Instead, the Michigan defense shut down the left quarterback and gave Lloyd Carr a W in his final game in the score of the game. Pressure coming. Tebow trying to stay alive. Throws it down the middle. The win gave Carr a 122-40 record overall and a 6-7 mark in bowl games. And while it was the end of one era, it was the dawn of a new and exciting one, one that promised to turn the Michigan football family upside down. <laughs>